Ah, the time has come. Oh, wait, no, not new game. Final Phantasmagoria. They always start with something stupid. What an engaging and important cutscene. If it wasn't for the last five seconds, the plot would not have been how it was. I don't know why I just rushed to start this video. I like ran up the stairs and started it immediately because I was low on time and I knew it. I'm really sorry. Okay. I'm gonna eat food now whilst I do this. This is gonna be the worst Let's Play ever made. Oh yeah, this slob was sleeping on the couch last time. You know, leaning over a bottle, now half into the floor. Don? He's gonna put his head up like a what and he's gonna be a demon. Hey, Adrian. You alright, honey? Yeah, I just hit the whiskey a little too hard last night, that's all. He also went demonic and raped her. Don, let's leave. Please. I gotta get out of here. Look what this, this place is doing to you. Leave. Leave. This is our home, Adrian. We can never leave this place. Until someone comes at the door. Knock, knock, open up the door. It's real with a non stop pop pop. The stainless steel. I get dog getting busy with it. But I got such a good heart that I make it. Okay. Yeah. Is that a jumper cable? Roger Simon 10, your time has come. I don't know what that is. Oh, what do you want? Hi, yeah, I'm I don't care about the damn phone. I'll get out of here as soon as I can. All right, fine, get in here and fix it. And then you leave. Okay, then. Colorful language. Who's she calling the son of a bitch? Alright, we forgot wrong room. Okay, so this guy is, uh. Oh, we, we, we opened up there. We gotta look there further. I'm gonna go up to this guy and talk to him. Just finishing up this job. I'll get out of here as soon as I can. Mike, I want to apologize for Don. He just is an abusive boyfriend that I shouldn't be in a relationship lately. with. He has been himself. He is abusive. Oh, you don't have boyfriend. to say nothing. I just don't want to get tangled up in family quarrels. That's all. I know. I understand. Well. It's good that you put your. <clears throat> it's good that he put his hat back on, at the end of that conversation. I, I mean, otherwise, like, you know, obviously, the scene would not have been allowed to continue. Okay then. I want to see what's what's done with the dark room. Is that even finished yet? No, he isn't. <sighs> okay, then, um, I want to see how far through the game we are. Alright, it's chapter 7-2. Well then, 
All right, you've got to press the continue button, wherever the hell that is. Where the hell is the co oh play? It's stupid. There's something you need in the backstage makeup room. Of course there is. How could I have missed that? I mean, it's an all right concept to have this guy here giving you all the direction, but all right. Well, a cutscene played this time that didn't last time, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and step right up. Oh, it won't let me skip it. Must be important or something. Oh, in the closet, of course. Where else could it be? Hmm. What is this? Carno and Malcolm, 1897. I know who's gonna enjoy this. Wait, firstly, I wanna see this big picture. All right, that's obviously Malcolm and that's obviously Karna. Right, I don't know. I am trying to find a way to get you alone, Karno. I don't know, it just reminds me of that lyric. Even though I don't think he says Karno, he says Karno or something, I think, because alone. Okay. Okay, we're in Moi, I don't want to pronounce it. Doggo isn't here. Open the gate, here we go. Ninja old lady who swings open the door like it's a pancake. Yes, what do you want? Well? I have this. Here, I wanted to give Malcolm this old photo. <laughs> I found it at the Carnivash estate. Mm -hmm. It's a photo of Malcolm and Carno. See what's written on the back? See Malcolm as a young boy. Please, you've got to let me in to see Malcolm. It's important. Just a minute. I don't know what's... Malcolm will see you now. I didn't know it was possible for a character be, character to be as unlikely. Unlikely? As unlikable. As her. We get to see Malcolm. She X. is here, Malcolm. Set. There Malcolm is with all five pixels in the screen. Hmm? What was it? This picture. I was just a young nipper of ten. Leper? Is that what you said? A young leper of ten? Carno. Was my hero. Rapist. Oh, okay. Then. Your hero? Yeah. I know what you saw in this picture. What did he saw? say? Yeah. The evil. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what he's whack. saying. That's whack? And my husband? <laughs> it meant to be too late for you. What? Yeah, the lady. Sit down. I have something to tell you. All right, then. What are we going to be told? Carno and his first wife adopted me. I, at that time, he was a good man. Respected by his colleagues, loved 
by his wife and then he went Henry VIII by mode. His audiences. Killed all but his wives. All that changed when he got the book. The Necronomicon? He immense powers through contact with the black forces. Through the book he unleashed a demon. Like I said. So evil it had no name. No worldly description. This thing came to possess Khan. Audience all. Khan became like it. He became very powerful. And his his fame and, and, and his wealth increased but he was cursed he was possessed by a he demon had loved his wife Hortensia and their baby daughter but all that changed he became abusive I don't have proof but could you could you prefer to someone who murders their wife as abusive I believe I just realized something. That body that we found in that flower shop. What happened the night Carno and Marie died? Carno's final days came when Marie took up with his prophet man, Gaston Warwick. Obviously, Marie suspected Carno of committing terrible deeds with herself as his next victim. Together, Marie and Gaston hatched a plan. I want to see this plan. He had a new act, an amazing feat of escape. But Marie raped the machine. Carno couldn't escape. They figured it would kill him. It almost did. It almost killed him until he became Two Face. Carno lay in a coma. But then, one night, he awoke, swearing revenge. I saw Carno drag an unconscious Gaston into his theater. His what? From Within the secret passages, I they watched had anal sex. As Carno tortured and mutilated the poor man, leaving him dead. Then it was Marie's turn. Totally crazy. They say mutilated. He's just lying on the floor peacefully with a slight incision mind. in his neck. Carno started up. That god awful machine, that awful contraption, and before my very eyes, I saw that he died. I'll never forget the look of shocked surprise on Carno's face. Poor Gaston was dying. This was his final heroic act. To my horror, I then saw the demon escape. A demon. That's all I know to call it. Leave his body and disappear through the theater floor. I knew where it was going. I'm sorry, but Carnal became a murderer from this demon, but all Don did was push his wife around a bit, and to be fair, he did rape her, but still, you know. I only thought you know. was running away, but I, I hesitated when, when I saw Carnal going to the same place the demon had gone. I rushed back to the hidden passages, just in time to see Carnal Carrying the chest which held that evil book. Then, just before reaching the chapel, he stumbled and fell for the last time. 
I saw him cross himself in the Catholic way before dying. I think he was trying to make his peace with God. Yeah, after all that stuff he did. I or was that the demon? The I'm sorry. Containing that horrid book. And I assume the demon itself. And carried it into the chapel. I really don't know what I thought I was doing. But somehow I... I felt as if I were containing this cursed evil. I had hoped forever. After leaving the chapel, I, I then dragged Carno's body back to his secret chamber, where he now lies. But wait, Carno's not in his tomb? No, 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 that is Gaston Warwick. He, he was so mutilated that they all thought he was carnal. I said nothing. I let them think what they wanted. And what about the demon? The demon? Oh, that's why I agreed to talk with you. Somehow, it must have been released. Hmm. Oh my god. Dawn. What can we do? The only answer is the accursed book. Oh, with it, you, you've got to send that, that thing back to where it came from. Back my underpants. To the other side of my underwear. You have seen the book. Yes. I thought so. All right, young woman. You're the only one who can do this. Your husband's soul is ensnared. I'm, I'm not sure what I can do or what can be done for him. But if you can somehow get close to the demon, Here's what you can do. You'll need the book, uh, a holy item, um, the stone of Hammurabi. Holy item? Where's my iPhone? It's right here. Blood Steve Jobs made this thing. It costs five times more than it should. It's holy. Take the book. The actual fuck. Now, like, what the hell was that? They just said, take the book and what? Take the book and what? What do I do after I take the book, huh? You tell me. God. Alright, so I don't know why I didn't skip that cutscene. I'm just uh, making myself a meal on the side here to eat. Here we go. Phone's in and it works just fine. Why don't you go ahead and test it? Okay. Uh, Mike, I want to apologize for Don again. He just hasn't been himself lately. I mean, normally, he's a very nice guy. He, really. Deja vu? Yeah, don't even worry about it. It's no big deal. All right, it's on a repeated cutscene. That's great. And that's great. Do you call me if you have any trouble, okay? 
I will. I sure will, thanks. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, we have a murderer on our hands. <laughs> so that's just about to wrap up chapter six. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, favorite, share, and subscribe. I kind of hope you enjoyed this chapter. It was kind of interesting. Uh, see you next time.